All right, anyways, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. We're gonna be doing we're gonna do an air ride install on the on this L, on the Lexus LS430. So, where quick plane is, we're we're gonna do like a quick air ride install. It's gonna be like a three day process. This is gonna be like part one of a part three or four series. This is the first part right there. Is we're just basically prep, gonna prep the car, get it all all four jack stands. We're gonna remove the wheels run the wires and everything like that and then probably, probably might install the struts if not they'll probably do that in the next video so we'll turn the camera around i'm gonna show you what we got you let's see right there i got i got the hood up right there so the first thing we're probably gonna do we're gonna, gonna isolate the battery right here just to, like see the noise he's, he's like following he's filing some uh some of the metal down they had to create the metal so basically like 10 mil 10 millimeter right here these two right there I'm gonna disconnect the negative first and that and check that off and uh, battery be isolated so i'm turning i'm gonna put the camera down i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you I see right here is like how to remove the cover it's my whole battery right there and basically now it gives me the access to basically now we could like run the whole which we're probably we're gonna run through here now so anyway it's gonna, gonna open this up real quick because i already did this week's in advance right here. So I put the leader lines onto my struts here. These, these, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on down there. This kit is this one's for the rear, this one's for the front. And basically, I'm gonna open up all these jacksons right here, or never mind, crack all these lugs loose. And once all these are cracked, we can get up on jack stands. Let's see, we got all my lugs cracked loose. And next up, what we're gonna do is uh. We're gonna. All this stuff is coming out right here. So. There. I think I got everything out the sub box and everything on that. So basically, what we're gonna do next is. Uh, hey guys. Hey. <laughs> That's my friend right there. We're 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 gonna we're gonna gut this whole entire truck trunk right there. We're gonna leave the amp as is right there. So next next thing we're working on, I'm taking the car the cargo liner out right here. Hold on, hold on. It's like, like if I'm not clumsy with it. There we go. I heard right, move, move these wires out the way. And then this carpet will pop out like that. And then I mean, I'll probably have to pop a couple more panels out of there. And then hopefully all this stuff should come out. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll come come back to you guys. All right, switching games here. This is, we're gonna, this is like, it's a little recap. Our harness right here. 3h system right here you know, all this stuff's gonna get all the way around to the front here sorry if it's in the grass or ain't got that it's kind of i had to go like, get out the way because my car is in the driveway right here so something we're probably gonna do start once we get done with like all the cleaning up the wiring and stuff like that this is what we got, got going on here like my buddy right here tucked in the rest of our harness it looks pretty good so far and also he smoothed it out so it doesn't like shape or anything like that so get right there so we're gonna do we're gonna run the heart basically what we're gonna do i don't know what we're gonna do first you like raise it up on jack stands put it on fours remove the wheels so and get started with struts or go ahead and run the harness and everything like that so either or probably will work i don't even know i don't know what we're gonna do so Whatever I do, you see me in the next part right here. So, all right, we have run into like a little issue here. So this side, it's not really of an issue right here. Okay. Yes, sir. He's working on that. He's working on that. Right? He's working on this side right here. That's fucking weird. I know. I know, right? <laughs> Mm. Lift, lift you up with your hands. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, so. All right, so one, one, one of my helpers, he had to leave for today, so this is just me. I, I could take, I can handle all this myself, so. Let me see right now we're doing. I just got the front jacked up right here. Always, always give it a good shake. Make sure it's dirty. Okay. We're gonna be underneath there. It's probably gonna be there for like a few, a few days like that. So, I just did it to these two sides right here. Cause originally we, were, we I jacked it up from different. I was like, why is not? Cause remember we were touching right there. I was like, I'm probably gonna do the fronts first and then put the rears there and then put the jack underneath that. So as a safety unit. So, 
that's what that's what you're gonna do we just got the front stem we're gonna do the rears and then we'll see you guys in the next video well not in the next video, well, in the next part so ready why is it not focusing all right all righty so I had to skip ahead of myself. Anyways, managed to get all four of the jack stands up. I had to use like the actual like the jack that came in the car for that side right there. Like that's jack stand, but I don't like as long as it's safe, we good and everything like that. So basically, all four wheels are off now. And basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like remove the shock bolt from the lower arm link and then unbolt the stabilizer bar from the link end. So. We're gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna do like step four right here, five, six, and seven. Right here, and then the strut should come right out. I'll probably give you detailed instructions about that. So see right here is the I got I got a 17 millimeter on, on there. I'm probably gonna do I'm probably gonna try to do it from the other side here. So basically that's like a, a, a nut right there that I'm, that I'm gonna loosen right here, so then once I get that cracked open, then I'll probably show you what, uh, what else I need to like, unbolt through there. So I think right now, like, my dad's helping me right now. Because basically what he's doing, he's, like, going to, like, unbolt this, these three top mounts right here. And then I, I've, man I've managed to get this part loose right there, the sway bar mount right here. And then, uh, and then basically what right now I'm trying to work on. It's like, a, I think I showed you in the last skip, so I already got that uh, wrench through there and another wrench through there. So basically we'll spin this and then... And then basically what is what we're gonna what's gonna do is basically like come loose basically so basically we're gonna loosen the mountains right there. So once we get all that done, I'll see you guys there. Anyways, we may have managed to get get both of those loose now, which I had to put some WD-40 in it, so see right there. Got that ratchet in there. So once this comes out, then I think I think there's like one more thing we might have to unbolt, and then once we get that one, we'll, then we could like, then we could well we have to like take these three top hat three bolts off of there, and then we just remove the strut from there. So so we get that, then we continue. So all right, many attempts later, we well I think we probably got that loose. I probably last clip. So what I did was that like. I got like the castle, I took the carter pin off and I took, got the castle nut off. And then basically what I used, well, my friend, he let, he let me borrow this like there, just for fronts. It's like a ball joint tool, it's really helpful. I probably might, possibly might buy one for myself in case if I'm gonna help others in the future, which I probably will. And basically just took that off and then it just like <coughs> popped up right there. And then this is why I'm holding it right there. Cause normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like hold this on with the bungee cord or whatnot. Fortunately, we don't have it. So I'm using my hands currently. So, no to advice can get yourself a bungee cord for if you're gonna do this because like if you do this if because like if you like let it hanging right there that like puts like stress on like the the, the brake brake hoses like that, and you don't want that so that's my word my tip for you guys so all right I had to switch it to wide angle so basically what we got here got all three all three towers are loose so you put my bolts right there except right now i can't do this with like one hand or anything like that's so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna take the strut out from there and we're then what you're gonna see me next is we're gonna compare the old strut to the new strut so alrighty so so a comparison here old strut on the right new strut no old strut to the left old strut to the right see right here the mounts are like exactly the same and uh the top hat mounts are exactly the same here so what we're gonna do we're gonna get this bolts it and bolts it in there torqued and uh, move from there so basically to like get it in there so what we're gonna do so we're gonna like uh without rubbing them on the bag itself and basically what you want to do huh you got it got it right there yeah angle it right here so basically what we're gonna do is uh we're just gonna like just gonna like slide it well we're gonna like slide it through the controller arm itself here and into and into, and into here Hold on. 
wait a minute. Because I feel like I hit a probably going on. Sweet. Perfect. Right there. Because I feel like yeah, it went on like one way. Like that. Oh, yeah, that was a, what? <laughs> Sideways. My bad. <laughs> My goodness. get the <coughs> I first get these uh, sharp these tower three bolts bolts them up there we're not we're not gonna torque them just yet because I think like normally on like some comp some suspensions or if you like torquing some you want it to like be like under load about that So basically now what we're gonna do we're, we're gonna cycle the suspension just a little bit so basically what we can do is uh so we can get so we can get that mount that right there and then also we're gonna like put the bolts on first so oh oh so basically like basically what we're gonna do is get this nut started from the the upper ball joint right here. And then what you want to do, put some medium, put some med blue medium strength bed locker on there. And then put and then and then put this nut right here. Sorry, I'm being like a little clumsy, a little clumsy with this. I'm doing this in one hand, but like. Okay. All right. Same way he's like, I got everything bolted up. It's a little the sway bar mount low bolted right there. I got this bolted in. So now what I just got done doing is I unbolted the bracket for like the wheel speed sensor. And then this bracket right there for like my brake line. So basically now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt, we're gonna like bolt this. Hold on. It's a better angle. Perfect, this right here. This this headlight leveling sensor. I don't know if my camera can focus, but get that on bolted there. And then it should be good to torque, torque this struts. I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse and repeat for the we're gonna do we're gonna do the passenger side off camera, but I, I want to show. I'm gonna film like the the driver side, front and rear, just so like show you like the process of like what goes behind this. So without further ado, like once I get once I get all this torqued, and we'll probably see you on the rear side right there. All right, so so basically what you do is like there's like two clips. You have to have, you have to like pry off like from right here, and also this area right here. So basically, and then also you have to like take the sub box out of here. Unless that right there is like toast. Yeah, I thought that so basically now we got it lifted up to the point where I could like slide like put like unscrew these top mounts right there and it'll like it'll bolt out like that so well from the top obviously I'm gonna go for, I'm still gonna go from the bottom there and loosen that so basically we can drop the strut through there so so y'all once we get that done we'll see you guys on the outside and show you what you got here. all right so I think what my dad got he got out the way is uh this bolt right there's a 19 mil that like goes to like the bottom of the rear strut and then what i was doing so i think you probably saw me that one right there so i was like doing like the first these struts right there so basically like so basically whenever i like unbolted like the strut it just like dropped like that literally so i'm expecting the same from this side right here and uh and once, once I get all, once I get these two done, then we'll probably go ahead and install the strut and then go from there. Got my strut here. So basically, what we're gonna do 
just gonna go underneath here and uh, it's sideways like that. Yeah, it's like way deep in the tower, huh? Let's see if it's like got it in it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Okay. All right. I managed to get managed to get that up there. So basically, right now what we're probably end up doing is. Uh, you don't have it in the thing. What? What you mean? No, you it. it's not going in there. Oh, got to, got to. Oh yeah, they're they're right there. I got them right here. Oh yeah. See? Where's you? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's some um, basically. Look. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're. More easy cycle it up just a little bit. So basically, we could like get the top three nuts right there and bolt that there. Then I'm going to bolt this. We're not going to torque it right there. We're just going to torque the top three for now. And then we'll get started running the, the wiring and everything like that. So without further ado, we'll see you in the ne next part. All right, pro tip like, whenever you're like install installing struts like that, it's like, excuse all this white powder stuff. I'm probably going to clean that up. We've got that so where you're installing stuff like that it only goes in like one way in particular well, like some some has i think this one's like a res, called a, res, a, res, a recessed fit right there like this which means that like one one fitting is like one fit see like this one's small i could like put that right there but on this side right here I could, I could just stick my middle finger in there and then it's like right there. So basically they go in like, like that. So we were, we were like struggling for the past like 30 minutes and everything like that. So I see right here, it's dark, it's dark outside, but we've, we've managed after like many attempts to get both of these on. We'll come back, come back again. See, well, next video is going to be day two of the installation. So basically what we're gonna do we're gonna torque the upper ones right there and then we're gonna run the heart we're gonna run the struts and then we're gonna measure how much how many airlines we're gonna need and then also and also we're gonna like get into like some drilling of my false floor and everything like that so this is what you gotta set up like well it's, well it's probably dark and everything like that hold on I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the light i'll show you there you go here's day daylight right here well not really since it's, it's the nighttime right here see on my strut here so right now, instructions say says like not to torque it there. Okay, torque it there. So, anyways, and that's it for like day one of our installation. All right, got my got my key here. Since well, batteries isolated, isolated, so plug it up through here. I saw you manually open a chunk on the LS430 here. This right here is like my main harness, and that's where we're gonna run it to. So I mean, like the goal is we're probably gonna end up we're gonna run it through the chunk. There's like a little hole through there that we could like do, cut it there. You know, I probably will have to take some some of these panels out so I like, get access to them. So basically, like so basically, we could like run them smoothly and everything like that. And then and then once that's once that's there, and then it's gonna come through that little hole right here through there, and then. That's gonna come out, and it's it's gonna put that side to the pad to the front passenger side right seat right here and here, and then now I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna know like uh, and then we're gonna and then we're probably gonna end up removing this cover right here, which this is an airbag. So basically, like what you want to do is like di disconnect your battery and wait 15 or 20 minutes. Just be on the safe side, so basically you don't like pull that and then bam, accidentally deploys. So and then, yeah, from there, then yeah, it's gonna get ran to the. It's gonna get ran through there, and then uh, I'm gonna pop, pop my hood real quick. Okay. 
And then it's gonna get run ran through that little grunt, that little mini grommet right there. And basically that's how it's gonna like that's how the, the harness is gonna get ran. This is, this is like the correct way in the instruction manual. Instead of like running two two towards your battery right there, do not do not run it. Let's say if your battery was right there and if you had like a little grommet right there, do not run it from there because like because that's like you wanna like keep it away from like from like heat and air, heat and, and wire and electrical fire some shit like that so I'll, I'll come back to you guys whenever i get like start whenever i like start running the harness and everything like that so see i'm, I'm in, right now i'm about, about to hop on my car right now so, so basically this is like putting a wide angle here it's like my instructions here basically i'm trying to, trying to follow like where i have this all planted out so basically this is like connector right here your this one's your relay. I'm following following what the diagram says right here. And this one's like my one my main compressor with the connector for a secondary compressor here. And these are to my, my right height sensors, which I'll probably implement those at probably at a later date. And then right here, all this right out it's the wiring to like the second compressor. And then all, all the way down here the red wire that's to like my ignition source right here and then that's where my usb is at so so basically we're gonna do we're gonna i think we're probably we're gonna run these two real quick and then uh once i figure once i figure out the whole deal and everything we'll run we'll go ahead and run the run run these two wires to the car and check back in shooting guys in a minute so See we're see we're at it right now. So basically, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna make, we're trying to make our lives a little easier. I I don't want to like take I want to take like this. I want to un unplug all the wires to like the this amp and everything like that because apparently that's like sacred or anything like that. But what I would 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 like to do is I would like to try to take this panel off here, get this all this off, and then just move this out the way. So so basically create less work for ourselves. So once once I get done with that, then I'll show you where we're at with it. So. Oh yeah, I think I've made because I think here's like a top tip. Get get yourself like maybe like a little little wired hangers like that, and basically like untangle it, fold it up like this. It's basically pull perfect for like pulling your wire. So basically, what I gotta do is I got through that little hole. Oh, my my kid focused right there. So basically, got that got through that little hole right there, and then and then I got it like ran and now I got it like ran to like that little like outside. So I'm trying to like follow like this portion right there whenever they did my did my audio back in october so basically they did i'm just using that as a reference right here so that's basically that's like the perfect spot to pull it from so what we're gonna do we're gonna like get we're gonna get the first two horn we're gonna get the first two right here and then we're gonna like we're gonna like electrical tape it like that so focus again okay. we're gonna electrical tape that and then we're gonna run it through the car like that and i'll check back in with you guys once i get done with all that bingo so we got the we managed to get those two ran so basically i think what i'm probably gonna do next i'm probably gonna, probably gonna take apart the the center console and basically run i'm gonna run that usb through there i'm gonna run it underneath there and then basically i got my plug sit sit right there sweet right there hold on, hold on. you got my plug right there And then this is where it's gonna sit right sit at right here. Basically run through there, plug everything in, tuck it all in, and we're good to go. So check back in with you guys in a second. Alright, so switching steps. I wanted to like get ahead of myself, prepare myself first, since I'm gonna my control is gonna sit right there. So basically what I have done is I've probably taken apart the center calls. Well not fully all the way, because apparently like there's like a little plug for like cigarette lighter. I don't wanna mess with that. So basically whenever I like start running that USB through there. And then uh so you can find like a sweet spot for it though and then then what we can then basically what we can do is that is, i could like i think i might have to drill yeah i probably might have to drill a hole through here actually i think i might not have to i think I, something I, what I can do i could just fish the usb cable into there and then basically have the usb and then i have that mount right there so well actually take that back like after doing some di in further investigation of the harness, it turns out that small wire, that was not the only wire that I had to run. I had to actually like run these two right there. It's like my single dual compressor harness. My basically gonna be like compressor fuses. We're gonna run them up to the battery right there. So basically we're gonna use like the little string. We're gonna use that again. So basically we can like fish it through there and then 
and then so like i said so we're, we're gonna remove this part right here and then hopefully we can get access to there i might i might have to like poke like a little hole through there just to get access to it but we never know when, when we get to it so i'm gonna cut the camera loose do what i gotta do and i'll come back to you guys all right so got the got both my my wires ran got it ran through there just gotta figure out figure out where to actually like center it so basically just so it'll like stay flush and the next thing we're gonna have to do is and then like i said like i think i probably have to get like get like a little little pointy like a little sharp sharp pointer and everything like that and basically just poke that hole without chip chirping any wires through there so basically we like run that wire through that little hole so Yeah. So basically, I. Hold on. All right. So bingo, right here. Found like a little grommet that I have. I'll show you where we had to stab it at here. So right, the right there. That's where we had to like stab it at it. So basically, now. Oh yeah, he's got. Yeah, he's probably. I thought I had it like, hooked up right here. Let's pretend that wasn't there. So basically, now what we're gonna do. Fish this up there, and then, and then we can start playing around like where we want it at. So, but once you pull it back, it'll probably. Okay. Make sure that's one, two. Um, what was it? Like? I think you're missing. Ah, oh, shit. That's all good. You can just. Is it? You can just run that coat hanger back. Oh, it's a lot my helper. He's, he's like in and like he's getting like the little part tool. So I started like I started running taking like my center console apart. And I got my early control right there. And then basically what I'm trying to do is got the wire fish through there. And uh so basically I think what I'm probably gonna have to do, I'm probably gonna take apart and probably lift up the carpet so a little bit so I can run the wires, see if there's like any access to there, which hopefully it should be. And then hopefully if there's any access, then all we gotta use, all we gotta do is just run that wire right there and plug it in. We get to go. All right, time to get real advanced over here. So basically, what, what my friend's doing here, he's gonna like tuck the wiring harness and gonna make it look nice and everything like that. Well, basically, what I'm gonna do on my side here, so I'm gonna put put all this together, put all that. I think I'm gonna put that underneath and then put the false floor underneath there. So basically, like I know like the accuracy of where to drill it at. So. So you just get really, really clean out there. So we'll check back with you guys in like a second. All right, a few hours later, we'll, we'll, we'll see you have lunch and everything like that. So basically, instead of me, like originally what I wanted to do is I wanted to like run this wire through the center console, but I knew it was gonna, probably gonna be a pain. So what I ended up doing was I ended up ended up using an ink, a little grinder, made a little a notch right there. It legit fits perfect there. So all you gotta do is put the whole console whole back together and uh just see how it goes with so all right got you what's up y'all um i've just been working on tucking this wiring harness um mm -hmm. into the trunk and kind of all through the front all up to the front of the car mm -hmm. um you see I've, I've got it tucked back here mm -hmm. i've been using gorilla tape um mm -hmm getting you know getting the wires all separate so they lay flat mm -hmm. um and then taping it down so it all stays together yeah it's gonna put this back together with body pins and we're gonna put the false floor of that mm -hmm. um i also kind of got it tucked into the into the mm -hmm. whatever that is <laughs> yeah, the little floor runners floor, well. um and this will all sit nice in there mm -hmm. and then it's all tucked in there too. Kind of, so yeah, I got some tape on it to keep it together. Oops. And coming out right here. Yeah. And this is your mm -hmm. uh, ignition, whatever. All okay, right, cool. Yep. All right, center console officially back in now. Yeah. Hold on. I think I'm being a little clumsy with it. Okay. All right. It's my controller right here. Okay, so. All right. You can get a good video, video of me mm -hmm. slipping and busting my knuckles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right.
All right, one one of my helpers had to leave for today. So basically, we're, we're basically what we did before he left. We basically got most most of the interior in together. Not all of it. We got some in here where it's just so starting starting to come together as OEM before. And also, I need, I need to figure out about that wire. I think I probably might end up having, having to extend this just a little bit. The same gauge wire and everything like that. So then I'm probably going to end up doing it. If you do something like this, let me know if I should do it or not. If it's recommended or not. So I want to know. Right there. So... Fortunately, I did. So fortunately, I think I, we didn't get time to run the airlines in real quick. I thought that, but I think I'll probably be in, in part three. Uh, that basically, in like part three, we're gonna like run the system, well, plumb the system, wire it, run the airlines, everything like that, and then, you know, once all all these are like done, we're going to power, power it up and uh, see if there's any see if there's any issues with it. Hopefully, there isn't. So, all right, I'm back home now. So, basically, what I'm doing here is like I'm unloosening these, loosening the bolts that like hold like this under chair right here. So, basically, they're, I think all of them are there like 10 millimeter I'm using a deep socket, it's probably easier. Yeah, those I already got a few out of there, and now, I, now all this, now all this thing just drop down. I'll probably do the same on the passenger side. I'm gonna do that off camera because it's the, the exact same one for this side here. So, once I get all that, I'll flip the cap. I'll probably show you guys. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I managed to see right here. I managed to get the under tray out. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna measure. We're gonna take a tape measure. I'm gonna measure like from the the leader line and from the leader line right there, and then all the way back to the vehicle here. So, so that will give us a good clue how much airline we're gonna need. So. All right. So before I actually like measured how much airline, here's what I ended up doing for with like the 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 leader lines if you got that. Because I'm gonna have a wheel that that is like the wheel, and I'm probably just gonna end up going inward. So basically, what I ended up doing was I ended up tucking it in through there instead. With use two zip ties, and that's why I have it like right there. So hopefully, I can run my leader line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zigzag. I'm gonna zigzag it just a little bit, flex it just a little. Bit. Hold on, I don't know what it is. Because like, run the leader line through there. No, PTC airlines through there, and then. And then flex it just a little bit, which probably should be easy because I got a quarter, got quarter inch instead of three eighths inch, and then hook it up to hook it up to that brass fitting right there. And then we're gonna rinse and repeat on the other side. But I just need, we're probably gonna figure out like what to do with the rears now. So, all right. So before you actually like before you actually start running the airlines, I, I want to show you. Some, excuse all that mess they're like doing. They're like doing the yard yard work at their house and without that. If you take a look right here, like some like some cars, thing you might have something like this here. You see, like my where my middle fingers at. It's probably, probably quite hard to see, but you, you could definitely see it right there. There's like daylight out outside, so basically, like that's like a perfect spot to like actually run your airlines without having to like drill a hole or anything like that. So, if there isn't, then make sure like if you're gonna drill a hole, like make sure there's like it doesn't like go into like any wires or anything like that or anything that's like that's like moving suspension or whatnot. Cause you will definitely do not want that. So. Do what we're gonna do what we're gonna do now we're gonna start we're gonna get the airline we're gonna start running it through there and i'll come back with you guys in a sec anyways what i had here's what i did made i made a little slit through like the the carpet here and then basically I, right now i got my, i have my airline running out there so and basically like basically out there is uh this is this where it's at right current currently right now so basically we're, we're like we said we're gonna fish that through there and then, we're, and then we're gonna like take a take a measurement, take a measurement like how many feet that it is, and then we're gonna start cutting. All right, so a little update here. May have managed to get the wire. Ran, this guy, we ran it up through the subframe. You know, we got that. Probably, probably gonna go ahead and tidy all that up here real quick. Probably at least some slack here and there, so basically we can like stretch and everything like that, mount it. And then once we get the correct correct diameters, we'll cut a little hole through there and be good. I see like right now what we're doing we're like we're getting the like the little coat hanger and everything like that and uh we're gonna fish it like through the hole that he drilled through here there and uh under here oh did i pause it oh, oh yeah are we run, are we running here like right here there's a little hole 
This is the air line coming in under this panel, but we don't really want to take this panel off. Um, so we're gonna just use the coat hanger to fish that line through that little hole. Come on right there. Yeah. All right, so this is where we've got the driver's side ran through right here. Got it ran through here. Got ran through behind here. So basically like we had to take this off first and then basically like ran the line through. And then before, before it, I think before I ran it, we, was, we left like, so we left a little sex. Basically it didn't get pinched there, which it didn't. And then, and then it, and it just like ran all the way to the back right here. So basically we're gonna tie everything up, measure it, how many we're gonna need, how, how many feet it is, and we're gonna cut from there. So that's right. We're gonna rinse and repeat for the other side. Well, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna do the passenger side because it's pra they're practically like the same. It's like identical or the same, anything like that. I'm not gonna show you the rear, anything like that. So I'll come back with you guys once we get all the dimensionalities. So it's probably gonna be like hard. It's hard to see right here. If I get, yeah, it's probably gonna be hard to see. But like my where I got my my finger at, it's got like my airline right there. This ran through above the subframe, which is a static part, literally like that. We want to try to like avoid like any like moving components here. So basically, got the airline moved through here, airline there, and then then basically what we're gonna do we're gonna like, and then basically we're gonna attach it up top up top of this gas tank right here, and then. basically like and then basically just move that out the way and then and tidy everything up put, put, put the skate plates back up and then you're good to go anyway so got the first two airlines ran through here this one oh yeah hold on you got it because normally what you want to do you want to label these this one is like right right front front left and this one is right right no front right like that so we got the driver's side now now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you like where i want to I'm gonna route the passenger side no well, the rear ones right here i'm gonna show you the driver's side i'm not gonna do the passenger side and after that we should be all be good to like wire cut cut holds hard mounting and everything like that this is this is coming really close here so anyway it's a little sunny sunny outside first time in like a week in about a week having having the sun out so so basically, so folks here, yeah, I got, I got an idea here. So basically like leader line, it's gonna get ran too. I think I found the perfect, a good spot for it. I don't wouldn't necessarily say perfect place for it though. And then basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna like, I think what we're gonna zip tie it through this little brake line right over here and then, and then go ahead and run. And then go ahead and run the airlines itself. So once once I do once I figure out all that, then I'll come back to you guys with the finished product. Well, actually, take that back. I ended up uh, instead of, instead of like doing it right there, what I ended up doing was that I ran the leader line through here. I had to make a little slip. I'm probably gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then just chased it just like just chased it like the front ran it above the above the differential well no not different not subframe housing to where differential is at and then and then into my trunk liner here so this is what we got going on and also still gonna label these as well so and then once i like have all of them i'm gonna zip tie all four of them at one time all four wires at once so I'm gonna do this other side real quick and I'll show you guys the final product. All right, so, um, basically, uh, yesterday we kind of left off with all the wires coming out of the hood, mm -hmm. um, the ignition and um, compressor power wires. Yeah. Um, and this ignition signal is now wired into its inline fuse and fuse tap right mm -hmm. here. We just gotta put the new fuse in, plug it in, and that all goes back um, up in there. Okay. That's wired in. Um, and then the battery or the compressor power gets two inline fuses um, and I'm about to put the ends on it to the battery, positive and negative. Yeah, same thing as the other suit. Yep, on air.
What's up? Um, so with this ignition wire that I already wired in, you know, this is what it looked like the end of it um, coming out of the wiring harness. And we had that coming out of the hood mm -hmm. yesterday. Um, we thought we were going to wire it into a fuse box on that side of the car mm -hmm. um, for that ignition signal, yeah. you know, so it'll air up on startup. Yeah. Um, but then uh, we realized the wire was too short for that. Um, so we thought, oh, we'll run it back all the way to a fuse box in the back of the car. But that would be hard because I be did hard. all that wiring. Um, and so we found an ign yeah. ignition source. Um, mm -hmm. Little fuse box. Yeah, the cigarette lighter wants to replace that. Right. Yeah, that looks like fucking hard work. Breakthrough. All four headlights <laughs> have officially been ran through the car. This is what we got looking like right here. I also want to show you what I happen to do on this side right here. Well, because I couldn't like drill a little hole through there, so what it basically what I ended up doing is that I ended up running it like I think I probably because I probably might end up zip tying this together so that like I probably I probably I'm gonna zip, zip tie it like that hard and everything like that. So and then basically like coming from underneath there. That's where I got. Got both of my rear, both of my airlines ran through the right side, so I'll probably go ahead and tidy everything up, and then we'll show you what's next. Now to the fun part, we're gonna drill we're gonna drill holes through the phosphor, and we're gonna hard mount any, everything. We're gonna hard mount the the compressors and the tank itself. Well, we're gonna do it outside the car. I think we're probably gonna end up doing probably see if we can find something to like hard mount my manifold at, and. Uh, once we do all that, we'll come back with you guys in a minute. All right, so I had to like take a little break from like the false four and everything like that. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to mount the fucking pedestal uh, like to like the, my uh, spare tire wheel. I already got my water trap mounted already. Got in direction where it's pointing like my tank is like, so I got like that little PTC was like right here and then it's gonna go down and then, then through here and then to the manifold. So originally, originally I wanted it like right here. So basically it would be like, just like go there right here. Yes, I, I think that's probably a perfect spot there. So, cause if it's an issue, I'll probably, what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna build like a little, a water shield for it. I, I don't know if that's a thing. I know it's heat shield, but like water shield, basically like a shield that like sp splatters out all water and everything like that. So I'll probably, you know, probably gonna do that probably at a later date. And uh, we're cutting it pretty close here. And now we gotta do is like, once I get all, get some, finish my false four, I gotta do is wire up the compressors, clean up this old trunk area, put everything back here. Tidy up the rear, rear seat. I, yeah, I gotta put the rear seats back in, torque my struts, and then and that's like, yeah, that's gonna be permanent shit for install for part three, so. All right, ran, obviously ran out of daylight here, so today's today's Sunday. You got that time you the time you when I'm recording this anyway. So I'm just gonna call this three part three and a half. I, w I was gonna do a part four, but I was like, eh, I probably wasn't even in the mood to do that shit. And so, anyways, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like part three and a half later like that. Basically, like like hard mounting, basically the final assembly of everything, literally like that. So. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you what we got going on here. See, this is old carnage right here. I got one compressor mounted. That's good. All I gotta do is just wire, it, wire that bitch up. We good. Hold on. See, yeah, right here is a mess, literally. Hold on, I'm gonna clear this out real quick and then I'll show you. Just gonna give you a little update here. Short struts have officially been torqued to specs. The next thing we gotta do is hard mount my tank and compressors. Uh, I already got my water trap line ran through there. Get into the hits that PT's little airline here. All I, can, all I gotta do is like, once I figure out everything, what we gotta do is run run the, the line to the water trap right here. Here into the car itself. And then wire up the compressors and everything like that hook. All this stuff up connect all the lines you know about that and also hold on that was quite hard to see that we got we got to put the interior back together 
like that since I think I think we should be good on that too so I'll check back in with you guys in, in a few all right so this interior is slowly starting to come back back to life here put it white here right now it's like got the fasten fasteners I I'm gonna I'm gonna reconnect that right there actually I actually wasn't disconnecting myself but else I want to leave it like and take it out the stock went out permanently and the bill's like Move your so it doesn't rattle my whole car and everything like that. So basically, what I do, I just gotta clean clean up the wiring and everything like that, and then I'm gonna get my rear seat sets in my my crib and everything like that, and I'll come back to you guys. We'll see where I got working with. So I'm working in a cramped space right now. I'm in the process of getting the rear seat back. So basically, what I did for the wiring, since my has my car has heated rear seats on there on the in there. So basically, what I did was like I followed the wire through, I followed it in through there right here, and then. And then reconnected the harness. This slides in. This like pops out like that, and then and then ran it through and then right here. If your if your if your car is like an ultra luxury one, you probably might have like extra connectors due to like the massaging seats and the recline function, the power headrest. I think I believe the power headrest function, something like that. Anyways, you probably got like a couple more connectors. You gotta like reconnect and everything down the ultras. So check back in with you guys whenever my seats are back in so all right rear seats officially back in officially plugged up fish that connector through there there here everything's all functional everything like that so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna put that trim piece back together so i'll come back with you guys where i got in a second all right got my uh my trim back together right here. So basically, I had like fish. I had to fish a couple wires throughout. It was to my my speaker. Well, no, my not my speaker, my microphone for like my radio and everything like that. And also, also this AV input for my PlayStation 2 that's in my center console here. So it's out the way. Now we can continue on the fab, the fabrication stuff. Hopefully, I think I think what I'm probably gonna end up doing first. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna hook it up first, like manifold. Well, I will have to pop the hood and get pop the hood and get pre prepared and everything like that. I think I think before that I'm probably gonna install the battery tray and everything like that. So I'm gonna open the hood and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, before before I get there, I just wanna show you guys. I, I had to paint this right here, this little battery bracket right there. Looked looked like really nasty from the beginning. So this is not it's not the it's not the best job or anything like that, but this will do for now literally like that so all right you a little update here i haven't hard mounted in my tank but i i put like the, the ran the leader line through that through that check valve right there and also i connected four no five out of the six lines out here i have one for the exhaust port right here and i connected all four of those i haven't plugged it in yet like that i probably because i think once i like figure out where i want to run my airline to my water check we'll plug this in put the the liner and then, and then go ahead and close it once once i wired that once i wired that piece in there so i'll we'll check back with, in with you guys in a second so all right compressor has been fully mounted up and mounted next thing next thing i gotta do is like hard mount my tank and everything like that i'm gonna put the couple pieces to the false four again also i'm gonna slip this one in but before i slip before i slip that little car piece in i'm gonna have to like i'm gonna do some wire management here and make sure everything's all clean and everything like that and uh we'll probably go from there so all right i'm almost done here we got everything all wired plumbed up and everything like that last thing i need to do is like that's what i'm trying to figure out here because well i'd probably know know what to do is i'm gonna go run the other line to the water trap i'm gonna run it from the spare tire rail up to here I'm not using any bulkhead fittings right now, actually. So basically, we're running through here, and then, and then it will be cleanly mounted, like right there. So once I get through that, then, then we're gonna like reconnect the battery. Well, unplug all the fuses first, reconnect the battery, plug all the fuses up, and then we'll reconnect the battery, uh, and then plug all the fuses up, power it on, and hopefully it works. All right, while well, in the process of reconnecting the battery, so I think what I've noticed is that, like, the ring terminals, the one that came on the airlift kit, kit they were, like, way, they were, like, way too big for for my battery terminal. So what I had to do, look at that, I had some in the house right there, so I had used, used a, a quarter, 
a quarter, a quarter ring, quarter ring, inch ring terminals right there. 12 gauge, 10 cal, like that. And if it's if it's perfect, so once I get all that in, battery connected and moment of truth. Hope this works. Cause this is like the moment I've been finally waiting for. There you go, finally. Finally, it's pressurizing. Oh, yeah, I can't help it, it's for the vlog though. So, right, right now, I only got like one compressor running. So, I have to like go in there to the settings add a secondary compressor here. I'm gonna start it. Here, so. There you go, now, now it's working. There you go, I'm gonna start it. Got the dual compressors running. So let's, let's see the cap. Well, I mean, like, it is some, like, I, I can live with it, but, like, hold on. I'm opening that trunk pass to see if it makes a difference. Sorry if I'm doing this for a second. I actually, actually, it does, it does literally make a difference right there at the sound there, if not that, but, like that, so. Come back again with you guys. Okay, while well, I was like trying to get the Jackson, I'm like, boy, this is if it was aired out. Look how fucking low this shit really is, though. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> now, now, just, now, I was gonna get the front ones off, front ones off, and we good now. Let's see right here. All right, so fast forward a couple of days, a couple of hours later, I had to, well, I'll tell you this, so like, hold on. All right, so I'll park, okay, I'm probably gonna tell you this, but like, I was like, whenever I was like getting my car off the ground, I was like running into some issues, like jacks and stuff, which I think I probably broke broke it. One of them was like that experience, like my car was like, since it was like so low to the ground, it was like, and everything like that. And so basically we managed to get it off the ground, and everything like that, so. It had to do like some little calibration, which I didn't film that because that's pretty much basic and basic as fuck and everything out that experience. You know, I think you were probably already seen, seen the whole process of how the calibrated systems like there. So, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you guys like the finished product, literally. Yeah, next day right here let me give you a little cold start here this is basically the final the final look of this, this car right there right now I, just, I like i drove in everything like that it's like i'm probably gonna i'm probably gonna tune the suspension a little bit i'll probably do that off camera and everything like that but so the current, this is what currently looks like right now. I think all I need to do is get pretty much get an alignment, and then we'd probably be good because of the light. Probably eat my t my tires up a little bit. Come see if you lost pressure. I think we lost, well, I think we lost just a, little, a little bit of pressure, 173 psi. I think we lost a little bit more. This is not like too much. Without that, but 
I'll definitely keep an eye on those fittings for oh, over time and everything like that. So, so right now I'm gonna run out, but I'm about to head to work and everything like that. So, whenever I get off, I got check back in with you guys in, in probably in a few hours. So, all right. So, before before I show, before I give my my review on it for like 24 hours later, and it's like. I'm, 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 I switched like one of my trunk lights out. So for that, one of my license plate oxes, like I noticed yesterday, like while I was at a meet, one of my license plate lights barely lit up like right that. And I was like, so basically I gotta get that changed out ASAP. Otherwise the cops will pull me over. So that's what I'm processing doing right now. I'm trying to like, try to figure out what clips that like looks like my trunk light right now. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that and then probably tidy some more stuff up. And then once, once I get over that, I'll probably get my initial review, and then I'll probably might conclude the video. Well, fast forward three days post install and everything like that. So it's what it current looks like right now. Current is at, at like stock height, wheels on, everything like that. I've been driving it for a couple of days, and what I've noticed is that like, well, I, I didn't even tune the suspension, and everything like that. It's like it's like really bouncy and everything like that. That's normal on coil and everything like that. To get the smoothest and back, what I'm probably gonna do. Probably next, probably sometime like in the near future, shortly. Is that I'm probably gonna like, I'm gonna tune the suspension just a little bit, like the dampening and all that. Since like mine came with all four dampeners like that, and uh, once hopefully once once that's tuned, then then the smoothest will be back and have everything like that. No, about that, we'll just, just ride like a fucking dream to be honest with you. So, so I figured, well y'all. 50 subscribers y'all want to see it so i'm gonna put the camera down real quick and i'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you hold on. hold on sorry it's my dogs out there hold on hold on basically what you saw in this last clip is what it looks like the 430 on the fucking floor. Nick out that. Cause look, look, I love how it looks, the low key when it's pretty low like that. If my bestie wants to get rollers of this, like if, if you're watching this, hit me up for it. If you want if you want, if you want to get some rollers, if you want to see see us ride really low like that, exactly like that, hit me up and then we could work out a time and a date and then we'll, we'll do it so all right so that's going to include it for this install series install series right there so if you enjoyed it like that leave a like hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss another open of mine i'll see you guys in the next video take care